Happy Monday guys, welcome back to my channel and another Monday plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from Morello Papery, I believe it was called the Rose Goals kit, it's a foiled kit. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box for you in case you want to check it out. But this is a three page kit, so that was your full boxes, you have the functional page and then you have your last page which is the washi, the little things and a few icons. And then I also purchased the glitter headers separately. So this is a smaller kit, obviously you don't get deco and you don't get any headers, which is fine with me. I'm just going to see if I like this kind of size kit. And then I'm also pe peeling. <laughs> I'm also getting this skinny washi here, which is a foiled marble. So I'm going to start with the washi at the bottom. And because it's a black washi, I decided to pull it down a little bit from the bottom of the boxes. And that way it's not all kind of clumped together at the end. If it was a lighter washi then I would have moved it up a little bit but I just wanted a bit of white space to separate the end of the boxes and the black washi. So after trimming the bottom washi with my scissors I then took my skinny washi and I decided to put it at the top but in between where the days of the week are and the dates. I've done this a few weeks ago and I really loved how it looked. This I feel is a little bit thicker than the washi that I used last time but I still really like it and because there is marble down the centre of or near the coils it kind of matches and it kind of just brings it all together. I also thought about putting a thin strip of the black washi at the top but I thought it might be a bit too much so I just decided to leave that off. And then I'm going to go in with the glitter headers. Whenever I buy glitter headers I like to put them down first which I don't know why because I don't usually do that with headers but the glitter headers I do. So I decided to stagger where the glitter headers are and that way I had a different colour on each day. I kind of confused myself a little bit but by the end I kind of got it down to where the colours should go. Once I'd finished we can go in day by day. So I started with a grey page flag at the top and just right down to upload because obviously I want to upload this Monday and it's a plan with me Monday so of course I grabbed my stickers from planning roses and just put one of those down. Next I put down a three heart checklist and then I decided to take this block of washi, it's not thin strips of washi, there aren't any washi strips in this kit, I forgot to say that at the beginning. So I just took this block here and sliced it down, which completely wasn't straight because I can never cut anything straight, let's be honest. But I did turn this around so then the rose gold kind of circle was on the left which was more like a kind of a bullet point and then I used a film sticker which is from planning roses and then wrote down that I've got to film two videos today. I'm filming my Hello March monthly spread and also my bullet journal video. Underneath that I took a quarter box and I used a poppet that's kind of half laying down dead needs coffee because um, my daughter will need to study and I've been studying with her so I feel like I'm back at school guys honestly so um, yeah I'm definitely going to need some coffee. And then at the top there I just put down that she's got physics exam today. I've also got some laundry to do and some housework so I just took two poppets from the home life sheet and just wrote that down. Going into Tuesday I need to do a food shop in the morning and I'm also need to design because I'm so far behind and my new releases come out in literally three days and I'm so not ready. So all I'm going to be doing for the next few days is designing literally all day. So I just put down another strip of that washi to put behind this um, half box, couldn't think what I'm saying then sorry, but I didn't like how it looked. I was trying to match it as the Monday one but it just didn't look right so I just asked just decided to take the washi off and put the half box down on its own and then I used a poppet from the laptop sheet or the worksheet and just wrote down to design. I then put down a full box and this one says believe in you and it's so pretty because it's got foiled 
all over it. I think this is the first foiled kit that I've used and it makes me so happy. Underneath I was going to put down another quarter box and this poppet was not sticking down properly, the cup was kind of ripped a little bit so I just switched that one out and then I put my quarter box down and I found this freebie from Paper Chic Plans. I've got a feeling this is an older freebie, I've had it a while and I just used the laptop from it to write down to study. I recently found all of my freebies, I kind of kept them together in a separate album and I'm going to be trying to use some of them because most freebies from shops are so cute and adorable that I need to use them so I have made sure to keep that file out so I remember to keep going back. At the end there I've got Jane the Virgin to watch and I need to edit and then moving on to Wednesday I put a book first coffee sticker down because I will need to edit again and I will be editing my monthly plan with me. On Wednesday I'm hoping to upload my bullet journal video so I just put down a half box with an upload sticker from Planning Roses and just wrote down bullet journal. I put down a quarter box and a TV little thing and I also got some Happy Mail due on Wednesday so I just used a Happy Mail sticker which was from the other freebie and the TV thing that I'm going to be watching is Friends and of course we're going to study. I then finished off Wednesday with another foiled full box which says girl boss. I also forgot to put a little mark in here so I just used an icon and write down to design. Flipping it over to Thursday I started with another page flag as I want to upload my hello march plan with me. And as it's the first, I've also got some new releases coming into my shop, hopefully. I mean, I need to get them finished because this month has just flown by. I think with half term and then my both my sons were ill for a week, I kind of lost two and a half weeks throughout this month. So I'm really behind, but there will be some kind of shop release going up on Thursday. I put a full box down with the computer because that kind of is perfect as I'm at the computer all day. And then of course we need to study again. So I just use another quarter box and a pop it which says do not disturb and is on the PC. I also want to paint my nails on Thursday. So I just use a nail icon from my shop. And then we've got two TV things on. I've got Jane the Virgin and also Stranger Things. We're on season two, but we haven't finished watching it yet, so we need to catch up on Stranger Things. And then for Friday, I started with a small checklist because I need to design the new freebies that will go out in March, as well as restock on my shop, and I need to order some toner for my printer. I've also got a build you, so just use the build you sticker that comes with the kit and also a pop it from the home life sheet. On Friday I like to try and film for next week's plan with me so I just used a half box that I flipped to its side and then layered a planner sticker from Planning Roses and a film sticker from Planning Roses. At the bottom there I just put a half box and I used a pop it from the friend sheet, they're kind of watching a movie, because my daughter is going to be having some friend sleepover to celebrate the end of their exams. They've been working so hard for the last two weeks that I said that they can come over, we'll have a sleepover and just chill out. So I'm going to leave this space here blank and that way I'll fill it in when we know what they're watching or if they're going to get takeaway pizza, I will fill it in later. So moving on to the weekend, I use the skinny washi as well as the weekend banner. And then on Saturday, I put down one of the doctor poppets for the opticians as I need to pick up my daughter's new glasses. We don't have to be there till one, but let's be honest, her and her friends aren't even gonna get out of bed until at least midday. After we've picked up her glasses, I'm going to be taking my daughter prom dress shopping, which just sounds ridiculous to me because she leaves school in about 
four months, I think it is. It seriously makes me feel so old. I'm not ready for her to leave school yet, but we do have to go prom dress shopping because no matter how much I wish it wasn't happening, she is leaving school. I will also have lots of housework to do after a sleepover of a group of teenagers. And then at the bottom there, I used a full box, which is so pretty. It's probably one of my favorite full boxes. So I want to edit on Sunday morning and I use the coffee cup from the freebie and also I've got laundry to do and then my usual checklist. Flipping it over to the sidebar I use the rose gold at the top. She only has one habit tracker in her kit which is fine with me because I've been tracking a lot of things in my bullet journal so I just use one to, to track for Instagram. She also doesn't have any headers or any checklists so I decided to take a little thing to write down for my next week and I took a heart checklist and just I'm going to use it that way this week. I have two full boxes left and I decided to use the phone at the bottom and then the other one wouldn't fit properly there and I wasn't sure what to do in this space. I kind of picked up the cut off from the washi at the bottom and I thought that would be too dark and it would encase it all too much. So I decided to track meals this week in my sidebar which was actually going to help me when I do my shopping because I can just write down the meals that I want and then go off of that into my shopping basket. So I just fitted five Monday to Friday because at the weekend it's kind of a we'll just see what we're doing kind of thing. Um, so that actually worked out perfectly because they fit really well. I used a piece of the Skinny Washi as like a header. And as there's no deco with this kit, that's it for the spread. This is what I've got left. So I've still got a few things left, even though it's a small kit to begin with. But here's a nice close up. If you guys liked it, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification. And that way you'll know as soon as I upload a video, I'm uploading three videos this week. I've got this plan with me, my bullet journal video and my Hello March monthly spread. I hope you guys have a really lovely week and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye guys.